Hello everyone, I'm back again, and this time I want to talk about HDR10 versus Dolby Vision, and does it really make that much of a difference? Well, I think it does, but I'll let you guys be the judge. So first, let's play this game in HDR10. I'll just make sure I closed it out, and I did. So this is first in HDR10. With the latest update to the Xbox, now you can play games in Dolby Vision, although the titles are very limited, be it Ori and the Will-O-Wisps, Gears 5 being among them, and Gears 5 is one of my favorite demo showpieces, so that's what I'm going to use. So let's start with HDR10 first, what we all have grown to know, and just as the norm. I'll be pointing stuff out as we go along. So the first thing I'll say is I just actually ran this in Dolby Vision and I am seeing a bit of a difference, at least in person. Remember that my camera is really aimed towards blue light, so it may look like it's picking things up that aren't actually on screen. Now, that being said, what I can glean from this is some differences already. Just gonna load up my campaign as usual. We're gonna watch the first cutscene in this game. But even before that, let's take note of the character on screen here, how much detail there is in shadows and whatnot. Not bad, pretty good. I noticed that there is less detail in the face up here or seemingly so, but a lot more detail on the armor and the way that uh, the gun and the armor looks, the way that the armor shines. That's the HDR10 at work. Now if we start up our campaign, <coughs> pardon me guys. Now I notice also that there's a little bit less detail in the ground here I think, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. We're going to skip that. And that. So from what I can tell, at least from where I'm sitting, there appears to be a lot more shadow over top of the character's faces rather than details on the character's faces being shown. You'll notice with the shadow and the blue light. Sorry guys, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. So the first thing we'll notice again is a lot of shadow on the face, blue light shadow right there. Uh, not as much detail on the face itself or the materials in the gloves. When's the last time you slept? Last night. So Nightmare lots of detail on the light, but not on the character's face itself. Nightmares. Does it get better? It gets tolerable. It doesn't look bad by any means, and I've grown kind of accustomed to it, but I think you'll find that when I put on Dolby right, Vision in a few minutes, there will be a difference in overall dynamic range, and there should be, because Dolby Vision is a more widely, so, no, a, um, it has a more d dynamic range than HDR10 does, 12 bits instead of 10 bits. Plus it's met metadata. I don't know all the technical so details, but I do notice a difference. Definitely not you. No, I'm fine, okay? Sure you are. Oh, shit. Thanks, Dill. And again, I'm seeing a lot more of lighting effects than I am uh, actual details on the characters themselves. Alright, now we're gonna head down. 
So the first thing I noticed straight away is not as much detail on the hair of uh, JD Phoenix there. Um, I could be wrong, but I think more details was revealed in Dolby Vision. So we'll just go up here. Again, it doesn't look bad, but there's some detail that appears to be missing. But I can't just keep spouting off here, so let's go back in. This time we're going to go into our Xbox settings. It's very simple to do. Go into settings, go into TV display settings, you're going to go over to video modes, and you're going to turn on Dolby Vision for gaming. Now keep in mind Dolby Vision for gaming, at least on my TV, only runs in 60 frames per second. If you are fortunate and you have an LG C1, your experience may different, be different from mine. Alright, now we're going to go back into gears. This time with Dolby Vision enabled. That didn't work. See, this is the other problem with just suddenly enabling Dolby Vision. The Xbox wants to do quick resume. Quit. Which you don't want. You want to see the difference here. Let's try again. Okay. I think this is going to work now. Look for the Dolby Vision logo up in the corner. There it is. So there's your proof. And look how much more clear just even that opening screen is with the ice. How much more dynamic range there is around the ice and just what's beneath the ice. It's quite something. And again, more detail on the actual logo. And look at all that detail, it's just even around that tank. The name of the game here is Details, folks, and there is a lot more dynamic range and details coming out with Dolby Vision Gaming enabled. It's actually... You wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it's pretty crazy, to be honest. Now take a look. We can see more detail in her face, in her eyes, and still get the amount of detail on the armor with even a little bit of the light as well. But if that wasn't enough proof, let's go back into our campaign. We're going to start from the same cutscene, exact same conditions. And look at that, even just that screen, look how much more detail is in the ground here when Dolby Vision is enabled. You can see the pathway leading into that light. Skip this, skip that, and again, look at the detail in the face, and just the dimples on the face. There's not as much shadow masking details on the face, and the way that the blue light reflects off the face is much more realistic, and even the reflection of the sunlight here. And look at this, just the animations of the two characters are much more detailed. Look, we can see the pores in JD's face there. This is crazy. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it really does. And now going back to this scene, note how much light is being shown, how much of the character's face is being shown, we can see her eyes, how much detail there is in her gloves, and when she sh turns her amulet around, it really reflects. When's the last time you slept? And even just the details on the two characters, like I didn't even notice she had earrings on before. And then there's Marcus. You can see the grays in his beard. They really are shown a lot more prominently. It is a lot more realistic. All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> and look at that. You can even see the. There was like. A label on the bottom of that step that I didn't even see before Dolby Vision. And again, the equipment is much more detailed. You can see every little kind of crevice.
Crinkle. So who's jumping first? Definitely not you. Del, I'm fine, okay? Sure you are. Oh. I hate to say it, but Sony needs to get on board. This is crazy just how much of a difference this makes. Now mind you, you do need to have a good enough TV to pull it off. So maybe that's where there's a bit of a niche. And as we lower... Look at the details on JD's hair. And the way that the light hits it, and the blue light coming off his armor. That is nuts. So the crazy thing is, is that this is a very early case of Dolby Vision in gaming, and we can already see some drastic differences. Like, unless you were looking for them, you'd never know they were there. But once you see them, you can't unsee them. And there is details which are being shown in Dolby Vision which are not shown in HDR10. And so right now, at least in that department, even though there aren't many games that support it, this may give Xbox a huge advantage over the PlayStation 5 if the PlayStation 5 doesn't come up with something to counter this. Visually speaking, this is much more pleasing than HDR10. And I really have to say, I am really impressed. I, I don't know. I mean, again, you, you do need the games to back you up, but if they can make more games with like this kind of HDR enabled, they might actually really have some major competition come in Sony's way. Like, this is crazy. And this is only at 60 frames per second. This isn't even at the full 120, which some people's TVs can do. So, is Dolby Vision better than HDR10? Yes, it is. Is it significantly better? Um, arguably, no. I mean, it does, it is better in the details here and there and, and in lighting and also dynamic range but whether or not you notice that really depends on the tv you have and what it is you're testing or looking for so the average person probably won't even notice this and so maybe hdr10 is good enough for them but i'd argue that with a game let's say from sony's side like for example uh, Last of Us 2. If Last of Us 2 were to engage Dolby Vision, imagine the possibilities, eh? Now, that's not to say I'm a Sony fanboy, because I'm not. But I'm just trying to give one example, right? So, if Gears 5 looks this good, and it was literally just enabled via a patch, imagine what a game built from the ground up to make, take advantage of this... Uh, to, HDR format will look like it will be crazy Anyways guys if you have a Dolby Vision TV you owe it to yourself to try and enable it and get it going because my goodness If you have the TV for it, it, it really does make all that difference but again, it's not light years ahead better, but it's just better enough that it actually will make a difference in the long run when it comes to visual fidelity, at least in my opinion. Now, that being said, maybe Sony will come out with something where it won't really matter in the end, and, you know, maybe no one will notice. But I digress. Dolby Vision is better than HDR10, and I wish that more people would adopt it. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, smash the like button. If you didn't, smash the dislike button if you think I'm a big nerd. Now would be a great time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Ding that bell if you want to see what I come up with next. I realize I'm not as fast as some of the other YouTubers out there, but I try to make sure that all of my content is relevant to you. Stay healthy, stay safe in this pandemic, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, man, I got to get back to playing some uh, Gears 5 on Dolby Vision. This is just nuts.
Bye for now.